Lockdown belly. <laughs> oh my God, let's hide that. Hello, welcome to The Traveling Marketer. My name is Marielle. And if you are looking to buy a Speedy 25 bandolier, I just Googled how to pronounce it, but I already forgot. Anyway, if you are looking to buy one, then make sure that you keep watching. Before we get started, I wanted to show you guys the uh, makeup that I'm using today. I don't really wear a lot of makeup, but I have so much, especially lipstick. I tend to only wear mascara, I do a little bit of brows and lipstick. Uh, those are my, my go-tos when I feel like putting something on. But I'm a prime queen, I always prime. So let's start with the eyebrows. I prime it with, let's put that away. Ah, uh, what's this brand? It's the Anastasia one, but it's there's obviously, <laughs> there's obviously not much not much left in there, and I actually have to sharpen that again. But this is the Anastasia primer for the eyebrows, and then I use the Cyber Colors, which is a Korean eyebrow pencil that actually comes with a brush on the other end as well. I had a look online. And I think it looks very different now, this, this brand. It's called the 03 Gray Brown Color. It's a micro eyebrow pen. This is very old, so I don't know how long you should be keeping them. And I think this was, <laughs> I don't know how, actually, no, I don't know where I got it from. If I'm not mistaken, my best friend Jelaine sent it to me from Japan, and that was ages ago. So I think that might have been where it came from or maybe I bought it from one of the Korean stores I don't know it's age I don't know I don't remember and then for my eyebrows again I prime it with this is the this is start I'm pretty sure it's start yeah it's just yeah it's start I just already the the branding's off but it's a it's a primer for my lashes I always do that and then I use it I use the uh, lash expander edge meister by Mayolica Mallorca. yeah so it's the black color and it has those those um whatchamacallit like fibers which makes your lashes look longer i actually have them just uh just just lash fibers by itself this is also pretty old <laughs> i got this when we were in japan how long ago was that a long time ago so that's kind of gross but anyway and then for my lips again i prime with the mac prep and prime so i love this thing i tried to use something else after this but then i went back to it so that's a, what, what i prime it with and then i have the huda beauty liquid matte lipstick in the wifey shade because i wanted to go for the all natural look since i'm wearing brown and in white and it's a small one as well i always like buying those travel sizes because as you know makeup makeup does go off and as i said i don't wear it often enough that before you know it it's time to get rid of them so at least if they're tiny i don't feel like i'm wasting them even if i'm slightly paying a little bit more so i love it when it's like a pack of four in travel sizes i, I love those things when you are queuing up at, at sephora those are my go-to and during christmas as well so yeah as you can see i have worn this bag a lot i've traveled all over the world with it it is five years old and wade got it for me for our boyfriend girlfriend anniversary back in 2016 we weren't married then and he bought it for got the receipt i always keep the receipt in my bag for most of them Wade bought it for 1690 Australian dollars and I checked it earlier today let me have a look and it now retails for 2460 Australian dollars so he bought it we bought it together at the Westfield uh, no not the Westfield at the Louis Vuitton George Street store in Sydney and I've checked a few secondhand resellers and they sell it at about 1.8k to 1.9k 
Australian dollars. So it definitely has gone up um, the price and I haven't really seen much of it either uh, online in the secondhand, secondhand stores. I think I found about two and it's also sold out in the AU Louis Vuitton sites. Maybe there's a bit of a scarcity happening I don't know so let's talk about the the specs yeah so this is the size 25 which is the smallest size but if you do count the nano size then this is just the second to the smallest then you have the 30 35 and 40 and it is a monogram canvas and it's got the leather handles the um, leather piping and of course the uh here you go the leather strap as well and the bandolier actually translates to english as a uh, crossbody as a crossbody bag and it's also got the gold hardware it also comes in with the demir ebene and azure but i picked the monogram because it just pays homage to louis vuitton's trunk uh, trunk business for their travel bags and they made the 25 size the, the original speedy not the bandolier which doesn't have this these lines right here for Audrey Hepburn so that's that the historical background I think it's pretty cool that I have that same bag as um as hers yeah so that's that's what that is and then inside i've got stuffing so let me take that out I, I stuff it with tissue now because i will tell you why in a minute but I'll, it's just cloth inside there there's a little pocket right here where it's very small it's a zip pocket that has leather light um uh, leather in there as well it is quite small you know how pockets usually go all the way down the bag this one is only at about eh, only about this big so the receipt fits in there and that's where i store the lock and the key as well so let me uh, there's no partition as you can see so i always tend to use a uh, bag organizer or if you if you watch my go to work bags i'll link it up here I tend to use pouches for my toiletries, pouches for my electronics, so that they can just be easily accessed because it just becomes a bottomless pit. Because even if it's quite tiny, it just fits so much. All right, all right. So here are here's the padlock. Uh, the padlock I actually keep locked in the uh, in one of the zipper. I think it's pretty cool, and it usually gets stored in here and these are the keys so it comes in to with two keys and to be honest <laughs> you'll probably yeah i never use it i never actually lock it because what's the point if it's a handbag but i can imagine it with the uh, the big ones the actual travel ones because because they made they made a mini version of it right so with the travel ones using it uh, putting it on the plane with the uh, over within the overhead you want to keep it secure there i would understand the use of the uh, of the lock i probably would even still use the uh, the normal locks with the key code rather than using proper keys but it's cute it's there you can now uh, you can have it and of course it comes with an adjustable strap which i actually did not realize i had separated but usually you would connect it in this part right here so you would connect that there and it becomes longer for your crossbody otherwise you can make it shorter so it's more of a shoulder bag which i tend to use more of the crossbody or just the the top handle rather than the the shoulder bag but interestingly enough looks like the last time i did i wore it i used it with the um, the shoulder the shoulder strap so five years right 2016 july 30 if i'm not mistaken is when wade bought it how has it stood the, t the test of time how i have sent it for repair and at the time it was for free this is my second 
second of, no my first my first louis vuitton bag that i had to send for repair and I'll also actually my first lv bag as well so this part right here i'll show you so this like strap stopper i don't know what you call it but that stitching right there just unstitched all of a sudden so i sent it to them for repair and it was it was for free which is great they had to send it to the hong kong atelier and then send it back here in um in sydney so it did take time but ever since then it's been it's been a-okay it's it has also lost its shape i and it's probably if you saw the photos earlier in the ootv montage and i'll share it here as well it's definitely a lot fuller it has kept its shape but that's probably partly my fault because i used to store this in the dust bag that it came with where is it let me put that in the back here so i used to store it how i bought it in the dust bag and inside the box as well and the only way it would fit obviously if it was folded yeah so i have tried to salvage it and hence the, hence the tissue stuffing don't ever stuff it with anything else like plastic or newspaper because it would just end up smelling especially if your bag is full leather anyway it is slightly better i've been salvaging it i don't store it inside a dust bag i just have it in my cupboard now just like this so the it is a bit more exposed to the elements i would show you the uh the gold hardware because like the canvas is perfect the edges are perfect the the piping is perfect it's still it's very hard to break the canvas anyway but everything is just great insides amazing because it's dark right so it doesn't get dirty up at all because i use bag organizers and i use pouches so it doesn't really get in contact with things that will potentially fall off now oh, here's the uh, here's how big that little pocket inside so where it has failed me is the gold hardware as you can see here and i'll do a zoom in as well the lock is little it, it scratches a lot but it is what it is the zipper that color of that zipper there's no shine there's no it's just discolored the oh my god where you clip which is expected where you clip the strap is just all scratch and it's just discolored now like the zipper in itself the uh everything that's got the gold hardware is pretty much faded a lot and let's have a, the the keys actually even if it's inside the pouch is not exactly shiny gold it's very black i can probably have it um polished and it will be okay have not given that a try the straps here this is still shiny so that's probably the you'll see the difference i'll okay no don't worry about that i'll show it in the uh in the focus but it's just the, the color this is still shiny but also quite um discolored where in bits and pieces so yeah but overall it's um it's it's done its job so it's uh, it, it's not so bad so what do i like about it i like that it's a crossbody and again if you watch that work my go to work bag videos i love a good crossbody i like to be hands free it's just perfect it is the size 25 apart from the it was a, it was a size customized for Audrey Hepburn which they continued on it's the perfect size for my build for my frame and despite being small it fits in it fits in a lot it is not for work though but if you do bring your laptop with you in a separate laptop bag or in a separate bag and if you're the type that would bring your lunch to work as well and you have it in a diff different bag then this could this could work but otherwise obviously a laptop wouldn't fit into it and your lunch as well oh and i forgot that i had it stamped as well yeah so i got my nickname in there my nickname is yang all my close family and friends call me yang so at the time 
Wade and I weren't married yet, so I had my nickname stamped instead, instead of my initial. So that's a Y and G, and that is um, that is free. But if you do, you are the type that want to resell your bags. It might be a bit difficult because it's personalized and it's customized to um, to you. But I do have almost, if it could be hot stamp, I do. So this and my Never Fool are both um, hot stamp. It is also my go-to sightseeing sightseeing bag. As I said, it could. It's just the right size, very light, crossbody. When you're traveling, everything could fit into it. And the fact that, again, you can split this strap in two, in two ways. Although, as I said, mostly, most of the time I use it top handle. It does fit in, in the crook of my arms and also the, uh, the crossbody. But here and there, I would use the shoulder strap, just a shoulder strap length. Uh, although it's it, the size of it is really not for for that but you have those three options to play around with which is really great now what don't i like about the bag <laughs> well the monogram funny enough right so i i picked the monogram because as I said earlier, it pays homage to the history of the Louis Vuitton brand. It's the same bag that Audrey Hepburn had, and it's just such the, the 25, the Speedy, sorry, is such a uh, a classic, a classic bag. And I actually um, collecting a little bit. I want to take off all the uh, all the prints or all the materials that they have in Louis Vuitton. So I have the Demir Azur, the Ebene. I do have the embossed one as well. There are still a few things that I'm missing, except the exotic skins. They're so expensive. But yeah, I do have that, that thing. Although my style has changed through the years, so I don't necessarily like screaming logos anymore. Here and there, I mean, it does work still sometimes, depends on the design. And uh, I do have a fair bit of clothing accessories and bags obviously that has um logos in it and i still and i still wear them to this day because even if people say oh you know that's quite tacky I paid a lot of money for that so i gotta wear it don't put it to waste you're right? so but in saying that i have definitely not wearing it as much as um as i did the hardware as i said just did not age gracefully for me so it didn't age well at all so that is a uh, that's a no-go and how it has lost its shape as well although it's definitely recovering a little uh, a lot actually since the last time i used it but i definitely do not like those uh, couple of things but actually me stuffing it's done a pretty <laughs> a pretty pretty good job i'm impressed now would i buy it after knowing would i buy it now knowing it's two thousand four hundred sixty dollars and knowing what i know after five years is just what's going to be the current state well the short answer is no well outside the fact that i my style has changed i don't like the screaming logos anymore but in saying that i really the, the speedy is such a classic bag that i'm so that i'm glad and i'm happy that i own one but it's just the uh, it's just a hardware for me really more than anything do not like how that aged at all so it could be again my fault to keep it shaped it's now outside so it's more ex the, the hardware is more exposed to the element so i kept it shape but then the hardware is just not looking as shiny anymore but how is that different from wearing it all the time outside where it's even more exposed to the wind oil so on and so forth so that for me is just a bit of a hmm, meh yeah right so that is my and it's the same thing to be honest for my never fool as well so hopefully you found that helpful if you like that video hit the like button and subscribe we do upload a video every week about travel fashion and career advice so hopefully we'll see you again next time thank you for watching bye a lot of my travels and i've traveled all over the ah, but it's just the, the color
that belly hurts when you try to pick it up. <laughs> um.